Now it's time to put a roof on top of our building and all we have to do is to pick a roof tool. So for that we're going to pick one roof here. So be sure to check the reference to see whether we're doing the actual thing that's happening. So here we have a roof that's kind of leaning forward to the entrance here. So we want to be able to replicate that here in with just the roof too. So double click to go to the settings or control T to go to those settings. And here in geometry and positioning, we want to choose the simple one because we have a composite and a simple one. So we are choosing a simple one so we can be able to put in a custom thickness. So for now, let's just keep the default there. And you also have, can choose what the eave is going to look like. So for now, let's make it flat. In the model, like we did before, you can change what material should be on top. Uh, something like asphalt gray should resemble closely to what we have. And as well, the inside can be those wood surfaces. So for now, let's work with just that. And the method of construction is going to be a single plane. We say, okay, so how do we put in a single plane? We have three methods of construction here. One is polygonal, another one is a rectangle, and the other one is an angled one. So I like this angled one uh, for this case, but let's just draw. So the first thing you want to do is to draw the line of the eave where it's going to sit. So once you draw that line, you indicate where the roof is going to face. So for this case, it's going to face that side. And then we can draw over here like that. Yeah. And of course, we have a warning here. That's because the roof is going to be formed on the top story. So let's continue. And the roof is not going to appear here, but it's going to appear around here. So now we can see that this angle must be very big. So we can go to the settings. And one thing that we did not change, which we can right now, is to change that angle. And it should be around 10 degrees from my observation. So it's more like that. And let's sort of align it to see here. So we need to, if we go to trace reference and enable that, we can choose the reference as the below current flow so that we are able to see the things which are be below and move our roof with offset edge. And it's perfectly out there. So in order to double check what's happening in the 3d we might need to use one of the elevations either this one or this one so i'm going to open this one in the new tab and we'll sort of look at this and see what to do looking at the reference here so we have 3340 here so let's put that in here let's use a line here and make a 3340. So that 3340 is actually referenced from 300 from underneath here. So I can make 300 go down and the 2095 is starting from this plane here. All right. So that means that our roof is actually going to start from here. We can try to find out what that angle is because that will help us treat our roof like that. So that's 14 degrees. So that means that our roof is actually steeper than 10 degrees. So 14 and there we are kind of close to that. And if we look at what it looks like here in 3D, yeah, more like this. Even our doors are going to be, even our main door is going to be 2095. No problem. Instead of having the default 2.1 2 door, you can always come here and reduce that to 2095. All right. And of course we can do some element operations. One is that that looks very thick. So we might need to turn it down to, to look, 
to be half to, to be 150 because the walls are also 150 which looks like they are and then also the model needs to look like what we chose for the walls so let's go to floor plan or one floor plan or one there you are and when we say that there you are there it is so cross check again from the elevations here and be sure that this is running from right here where we need it to be running so now let's chop off the things that we don't need so how do we make these walls stop at this height well it's easy just select the walls all of them that are crossing the roof choose this icon here which is trim elements to the shell or roof and when you do that you click on the roof that is going to trim them and then click under that roof for the final operation to be made and there we are so of course we are having some material showing through and that's generally because the wood material is a bit weaker so if we changed the default material here of the roof from wood to something like steel it should be able to be stronger and subdue the things which are showing through so it's about material strength so you can choose any other material that you so wish to see so to clean up this hind part as well we might need to bring back the operation another way to do it is we can select both the roof and the wall right click and then we say connect and trim elements to roof and when we do that it can trim the same operation we did before but now different method so when we do that it's clean which is good for us and that uh, door is still very big so let's go here in uh, south elevation and make this door a little smaller let's see this door is supposed to be huh this is strange ah so we have a problem what we did do is to choose the wrong height here this height is supposed to be for the inside so the 2095 is supposed to be on the inside so how do we fix that well we need to go back here and be sure that that is on the inside so we add on the 150 50 so that's the copy of the line we have done and make sure that we make this come to this place here so now we have the roof at 12 degrees so let's take the roof up here and when it is up here go to the settings of it and make sure that we change it to 12 and we say okay and that should look more like what we need for this thing huh that's pretty cool and we also need a duplicate uh, slab underneath there so the way to pick elements we can do that by going back through the same process but you can also pick an existing element for example this slab we can just pick it and go into the settings and just change a few things that this one is going to start where this one stopped so we have this one uh 150 from the ground so we can have this one start at negative 150 such that if we draw it under here so this one should start a little bit within should leave a gap because if we look at the reference here we have something going on under there so we can use just a small slab for that so we want to be able to make it also concrete all around just for representation and when we do that we should be able to get something going under, under there yeah 
I like it, kind of. So that's it. That's it. 